Adam, what is going on with Travis Kelsey? Money. Well, a short time ago, Laura, the Kansas City Chiefs announced that they had signed Travis Kelsey to a new two-year deal. It's a two-year, $34.25 million deal that includes $17 million fully guaranteed this year. Most of the money, the remaining money, guaranteed on the third day of the new league year next year. So Travis Kelsey should collect a good portion of this $34.25 million, if not all of it. Huge deal, makes him the highest paid tight end in the NFL. Taylor Swift must be very happy about the contract right now. And <laughs> Travis gets a deal to keep him in Kansas City. Moving forward right now, the Chiefs reward one of the greatest players in their franchise history. Yeah, a little beyond feeling so high school if you're Taylor. Uh, Patrick Mahomes was very <laughs> happy about the news, tweeting, quote, I told y'all I'll never let him leave. Congrats, my guy. Travis Kelsey. Mina, Mahomes is going to have some options this fall on top of Kelsey. A quick reminder that the Chiefs brought in Hollywood Brown. They traded up in the first round to draft Xavier Worthy, the speedster. How do all these pieces come together on the field? Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned Hollywood Brown because I feel like that signing got a little bit lost mm. in the shuffle. But um, what it tells you, combined with, of course, the drafting of Worthy, is that the Chiefs went into this offseason with a very clear priority, which is to add speed. Not just speed, speed uh, near the top of the NFL. Hollywood Brown is still incredibly fast. Uh, and what it means for Kelsey and for this offense is they're going to face a lot more of those too high coverages they used to face so often. We talked about with Tyree Kill, and in the process, that'll open up space underneath for Kelsey to get to work and get yards after the catch. He's going to have easier matchups. It's going to be harder to bracket him. Uh, for me, it makes total sense that they would want to ensure Kelsey's still in the building, you know, and still happy for a couple years because he is one of the biggest beneficiaries of those signings in that draft pick, along with, of course, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, his his role has been pretty. Difficult, I guess, since mm -hmm. Tyreek Hill left because yep. the vertical speed wasn't there. To Mina's yeah. point, everything will be easier with space and matchup-wise. Also, the blueprint of how they're going to handle Travis, really, we watched play out this year. If you looked at, like, the regular yes. season in comparison to the playoffs, a couple things stand out. Number one, he played almost eight snaps more per game in the postseason than he did in the regular season. So it was the obvious load management element. Two, the positive benefit of that. During the regular season, he had 66 yards per game. During the postseason, he had 90. So I, I think just the thought of how they're going to handle Travis, you know, this September, October, November months is mm -hmm. going to be very different than December, January, February. And so he'll be fresher. His job, I think, is also going to be easier because of that speed. If you look back to the 2022 regular season, the Chiefs were by far the league leader in terms of explosive plays, yeah. 20 plus yards or more. They dropped the 16th last season. Yeah. The geometry of this offense is so different this year now because yeah. they have literally the fastest player in the history of the combine, Xavier Worthy, plus Hollywood Brown. Travis Kelsey is always going to eat in the middle of the field. Think about how much, how much more space there should be no right doubt. now with yeah. those two guys providing a more credible threat compared to where they were last year with Marquez Valdez-Scantling on the field. And it's sort of like the football business slash locker room part of this is that I'm sure Patrick Holmes is the most respected player in that locker room, but Travis Kelsey is right probably there. tied around that far behind. Yeah. This is a message to the young guys that just walked in the building yesterday as our new draft picks. You do the right things, you perform sure. on the field, you carry yourself like you should. We're going to continue to reinvest yeah. in you and a message to the quarterback. We're never going to let your best friend get out the door. Go ahead. Well, we mentioned Xavier Worthy a couple times and his, his speed, but he's more than just speed, right, Field? He is, yeah. He showed that during his time during Texas. He showed some toughness. Mel, I know, loves the toughness of Xavier yeah. Worthy but also just the ability to do things more in the intermediate game, which you would think when you're that fast, how much of a priority is that? But the reality is one of the best ways that teams tried to counter his speed, at least at the college level, was playing off coverage against Xavier Worthy. There's a natural cushion there. He's just going to feast underneath, and you know the yards after a catch are going to be a great strength for him as well. The deep ball will be his bread and butter, but there's more to his game than just running straight very, 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 very <laughs> fast. Yeah, no, Phil, it's a great point. And when you have that kind of speed, because cornerbacks play so far off of you, there are easy yards to be had, little hitches, comebacks. And we know that Patrick Mahomes, and he's really proven this over the last couple of years, he will take those yards. So I can look at this in uh, these signings and the draft pick, and I can say, oh, Patrick Mahomes is no longer going to check it down. Explosive Chiefs are back. But Patrick Mahomes will check it down when it's the right answer. It's one of the many ways in which uh, he has shown over the last few years that he has grown as a quarterback. He keeps getting better at that. All right.